Cloud computing is a revolution that has helped many organizations achieve exponential growth by greatly improving their operational productivity and quickly allowing them to provide services that didn't exist before. Some organizations see cloud migration as a strategy to survive in a market that has become more competitive, one where new players may disrupt their market at any moment and potentially outperform them in a short period of time. But many organizations migrated to the cloud today don't reach their expected results. In their experience, cloud migration is hard, is expensive, and fails to meet their business expectations. Why? What is missing? We need to understand that cloud computing is not an end in itself. Rather, it should be the means to a business goal. Migrating our IT resources to the cloud is not a business strategy on its own. It is an important component of a more comprehensive business strategy. Cloud computing is a vital part of successful organizations today. It allows us to gain competitive advantages, but it's not enough by itself. If we only migrate our old servers from a physical location to a virtual one on the cloud without any other change, it won't have any business impact beyond the migration costs and the need to train our workforce in a new technology. It won't provide any real advantages. To enjoy the competitive advantages of cloud computing, which is mandatory if our organizations are to survive and thrive in the future, we need to achieve our world culture. Let's talk about the things we need to change in our organizations to face the future successfully. We need to be agile and prepare our organizations to respond quickly to change. This means reducing or eliminating big inherited processes that prevent us from responding at a required speed. If we take weeks and hundreds of work hours to make a decision that can be implemented and reverted in a couple of hours, cloud computing won't be able to help us. Another key is to break down silos and minimize dependencies and red tape which don't add value. It's time to promote cooperation and knowledge sharing to align development, operations, QA, security, and finance teams, so all of them are working together for the good of the organization. Also, it's crucial for us to invest in the psychological safety of our collaborators. Instead of a hierarchical structure where information and decisions only flow in one direction, we should create teams of teams, a constellation of motivated and dynamic teams that come together around business goals. These teams should be able to make decisions and achieve business results in a decoupled manner. IT must become a profit center, an engine that drives the business and helps to bring more customers, sales and innovation into the organization. This mindset will help us get the most out of paper use, elasticity, and other features that cloud computer has to offer. Reducing undifferentiated heavy lifting is another crucial step, making use of managed service and serverless computing to respond to new conditions and innovate faster can cost money, but it saves time and effort, and time is of the essence. Additionally, it's essential to create a generative culture in our organizations. This means setting the stage for collaborators to do their best work while capturing all of these, their ideas and ingenuity, thus making continuous improvement a part of everyday work culture. To survive, we need to adapt. If we want our organization to thrive, we need to change and adopt new and better ways of working together. It's time for us to be bold and to embrace results-driving approaches. If we learn how to maximize benefits from the cloud as we adapt and improve, we can reach the productivity and the speed of innovation set by leading organizations and guarantee our success in the future. This is a great time full of opportunities for us to take advantage of.